What is going on guys? We are back with more of the Sims Complete Collection. Um, in the last episode we had about like two fires that started because can, you can never trust your Sims um, with this oven here. Uh, I can never trust my Sims with this oven particularly. But um, I'm pretty sure it'll happen to anybody so be on your guards. If you're playing this game and your Sim is cooking something you better watch them carefully and make sure you have a fire alarm or else you'll die. Anyways, um, unfortunately I thought I was recording so I recorded a full episode without actually recording it and then after I found out that I wasn't I face pumped really hard and I just like ugh, I'm I'm done right now so I'm doing this a little bit later um, I was gonna upload this like yesterday but then you know of course I'm, I'm doing this later on um, now I'm in a better mood and so you guys really didn't miss much honestly there was like another fire that started Another fire. Yes, it's not surprising at all. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a fire in this episode as well, so, somewhere. I don't know, because we cook a lot, so there's it's, it's a higher chance that we might get a fire. But anyways, um, let's see. So there's two separate beds over here because Melissa and Brad don't get along very well together. So I went ahead and bought a separate mattress. So that way one of them can sleep on that. They'll take turns sleep using each other's beds. Um, she used it last time, so he's, he's using it now. It's all about equality right now. Um, we also got the voodoo doll little box here. It's only 85 simoleons, so I decided to get it. And Brad used it on Melissa, which she deserved because she was being a pain in the butt. So he punched her, he choked her, did everything he could, like Chris Browning-wise. <clears throat> and he also got a promotion. He is now a level five or something I don't know level four or five he's a junior officer so that's pretty cool all right let's have her take a shower here Brad will make his bed of course and he's gonna clean this up and serve us some breakfast now I thought I could trust him with this oven but it turns out I can't because he did the same thing Melissa did he catched he caught the um the oven on fire <clears throat> He can't cook either. Honestly, nobody can. So we're probably going to have to work on our cooking skills a little bit more. Because, yeah, it just happens so often. We need to really work on that cooking skill. I bet like we'll have like level 5 and then we'll still catch a fire. Alright, let's clean that toilet. Because it's been a long time since it's been cleaned. If I remember correctly. <clears throat> And she needs to get her social up, as well as Brad. Oh, actually, Brad's not too bad. Melissa's a little bit social deprived. Good thing we don't have that clown um, painting, because if we check that out, because usually they check it out themselves, the clown will come and he's going to make us more miserable than we already are. So it's a good thing we don't have the clown painting. So don't buy the clown painting. Although it may look pretty nice for decoration, which I doubt anyone would say. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, don't buy it. Okay, this won't take long. I'm just gonna have her like walk back and forth here. And he didn't catch it on fire. I'm so, I'm, I'm so proud of you. Each time they make it successfully, I'm going to applaud them with my verbal praise. Okay. <clears throat> it's quite funny to see, you know, Melissa. They don't Melissa and Brad. They don't sit next to each other like they should right here. They sit very far away from each other, and I think it's understandable. They don't like each other, and they were supposed to be a married couple, but I guess we could not. We, we probably don't need a married couple at all. I don't even think we could have a married... Do they even get married in this game as well? That's, I forget so much about this game. Okay, they're friends again. Ooh, wow. Oh, he has to go to work. Okay. She's, she's getting to know him a little bit more. Um, time to go to work for you. Hopefully you can use the restroom at your workplace, because... It's a little too late for that. Once they miss the carpool, it's gone. I think you can't go to work like The Sims 2. You can just walk to work or drive, depending. Okay. <clears throat> oh, also, another thing to worth mention. Um, Melissa got half a star of fame. And that was due to you know the creativity skill we got from this painting easel here. She's got two creativity skills and one charisma because um, she needed charisma skill. So next time when we go to Studio Town today, hopefully we will get the full star and then we'll be able to actually start working on 
are recording for her song. So she's going to be a singer, and I'm going to try her, try to make her an actor as well. So she's kind of like well-rounded. So not only can she sing, but she can act. At least that's what I hope I'm aiming for. All right, let's go ahead and uh, have her paint some more. Oh, answer the phone, I guess. Who is it? What do you want? The physic, the psychic. <laughs> The Psychic Sims Network has located 700 simoleons that you lost years ago. The money has been deposited into your account. Oh my god! We have money? Oh yeah, we have 700 simoleons. I didn't know anything about that, but I happily take that 700 simoleons. Hello, Nancy the Paper Girl. Nice day we're having, right? Yeah, as you can tell, my mood is a lot better versus knowing when I didn't actually record. I was like so mad. I was like just mad. I was so mad. I wanted to like break stuff, but I'm not that violent. <laughs> my teacher, she, um, my Spanish teacher, here's a, a little story to tell while she's painting. Um, she, in order for her to get her like anger out, she imagines her students, like the ones that are like bad and they deserve to whatever they get, she just imagines, imagines them in their head like in the worst case scenario so although that may sound bad it's a lot I think it's a lot better than you think it is I think I think but yeah I would do that too I mean as long as I don't get in trouble and nobody knows and of course yeah it's all in your mind so nobody has to know about it congratulations what vision what talent Melissa gained one creativity skill point good job oh my god look at how look how artistic she is she's only level three and creativity and she's already painted like a married couple here it's like realistic too that's cool that's cool i wonder how okay never mind not gonna question all right let's have her uh sit for a little bit um i think we need to call over maybe bella maybe we could call bella out call neighbor we need to get some social in all right so bella call do you want to invite Bella or just talk? We're just going to talk because inviting her is kind of useless, I guess. Because we're not as close with her, so she's probably going to make an excuse. Like in The Sims 2, they say they'd rather hang out with the llama or they, I don't know, some other dumb excuse. So talking is a good thing, I guess. She needs an ally. That's what she needs. What the frick? Why aren't you talking to her for a long time? Does she have to go like or something? Let's try this again. Oh wait, not invite her over. Dang it, she's gonna reject us now. Sure, I haven't got anything but- Oh. Oh, okay. She doesn't have anything better to do, of course. I kinda- I kinda feel offended right now. She's like, I got nothing better to do. So, I'm gonna come over and see you in a little bit. Our yard is a bit, um, crazy here with the newspapers. So, before she gets here, which, yeah, I'm gonna take care of it. There's a trash can right here, Melissa. Why are you throwing it away over there? Oh my gosh. And there's like stray cats and dogs outside of the house all the time. And Sheer, there was, there was a dog named Sheer, which I think is this one right here. Yeah, Sheer. What? Strays. Yeah, they got into the house. I was like, what the frick are you doing in here? Hey, Bella. Bella Goth, hello. 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 Are you okay? Let's greet her with a... Don't star kiss her. Wave. Wave to her. Like, hey, how you going? How's it going? <laughs> I don't know what that... Uh, let's see. Invite to Old Town. Invite to Downtown. Let's entertain her with a joke. And maybe talk, gossip, talk about interest. It's been a while since we've um, spoken to our neighbors here, but she doesn't seem to be getting along with her. She doesn't get, seem to get along with anybody. What is wrong with Melissa? Oh yeah, it makes sense because her bio says she doesn't like certain women because they seem skanky. They come off as skanky. Let's use it on Bella. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's try to let's try to be friends with her. I don't know how we're gonna do. She probably doesn't like us. 
let's see, about dogs. Let's talk about dogs. And they're getting along, that's pretty cool. Bella, you are a piece of crap. I hate you. We're gonna go ahead and use this on Bella. Welcome home, Brad. He is getting the money. Okay. There's vermin everywhere too. Oh my god. Holy moly. Okay, anyways. Wait. Did we use it on Bella already? Be slapped. No. Use this on, use this on Bella again. Do it again. Oh my god. <laughs> what is she gonna do? Oh my god. Oh my god. She's like stabbing her right now. Holy crap. Run away. Run away from Bella. Run away. I don't know what we're doing. Okay. Go take care of the vermins over here and then sleep for a little bit before we go to Studio Town. I think it's kind of. Is it going to be too late before we go to Studio Town? I don't know. Did Bella leave? I think she left. Smart choice. Smart choice. And that was kind of useless. I guess. Because we didn't get much done with her. We didn't get to know her any better. She was a pain in the butt. I'll tell you that. Our house is just a mess. Oh my gosh. Um, he needs uh, two more body skill points. So let's have him... Go play in the pool here. Maybe he'll get some more points. Alright. I, I thought we'd just clean the toilet. Why does it need cleaning again? Someone take a huge dump? I have no idea. Alright, let's go ahead to Studio Town. Uh, call cab to Studio Town. I doubt anybody's there this late, but you'll never know, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Yep. Yep. Go. Let's go. We'll clean that later. Alright. So 84 Studio Town. Drive Midlock Multiplex. Here we come. Oh, look at this. Gas District. That looked pretty fancy, so I decided to take a look at that. Galleries, okay. Here we go. This is the third time we're here, I, th I believe. No, wait, the fourth time. I don't even know. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go sing some more. Let's sing some ballads. Some ballads. Or maybe should we ne should we network with some people? Can we talk to him? No, he's just gonna be. He's gonna be like, oh, I'll autograph him again. Are people gonna watch us? Cause that's the whole, that's the purpose. We need people to watch us. Oh, he is watching us, oh cool. She's getting more star power. All right, let's sing a country song. Come back, come back. You need to listen to the best singer ever. But yeah, she's gotten better. I think. People don't cover their ears anymore. They're like, oh, interesting. What a interesting sight we have here. Something like that. At least that's what I think they say. I think this is a bit stereotypical. This is what it sounds like. You're in a better hand. A hoo hoo. Awesome. All right, let's go try to record a jingle. If you want to get anyone in this business, you have to make sure people are listening to you. Gosh, fine, fine. There's nobody here at all. Nope, see, we have half a star. I was assuming we'd be good enough, but half isn't good enough. And who is this chick? Pristine Christine. We can't talk to her. Why not? Is there anybody here at all? It's just the paparazzo, the sushi ladies, the freaking ugly they look the same. They could they could be twins. Um, those studio guys. All right, let's just head back home because there's absolutely nothing we could do here at the moment. Of course, we have things to do, but we need people to listen to us. 
and th they are our main audience. Of course, people are our main audience. What the freak? I don't know. But they're the main reason why people are famous. You, pe people listening to you and stuff. Did I call the cab? Did I call the cab? Did I even? Did I reject it or something? Yeah, pick, pick me up. Finally, she's like miserable right now. She's just crying too. Okay, well, it was worth a try. Oops, no, you're not sleeping there. It's Melissa's turn to sleep there, and you can sleep there. All right. So hopefully you guys are enjoying your day so far. Um. Yeah. There's a lot of things coming up soon for me and I am nervous about it for, for it. Okay. You're up. So it's time to do the daily grind. The daily grind. What are you reading? What are you practicing? He's just reading a book, isn't he? Yeah. That's useless. You can't... You don't accomplish anything by just reading a book like that. You need to actually work on something, dude. Um, how about we study some cooking? Youch! Youch! Oh, <laughs> time to go to work, time to go to work you go. I hate it when they, they whistle too much. Um, there's this thing that I heard about whistling. If you whistle in your house, apparently it's bad luck. That's what my dad says. I don't know if that's true. I don't even whistle anyways. I can barely whistle. Their toilet right Okay, it kind of sounded like it did. Alright, is there any more vermin around here? Um, hopefully not, but yeah, that's good. There's nothing so far. Ew, yeah, ew. Finish off his plate then. Okay, so. Instead of going back, should we go back to Studio Town? That's the question. Should we go back? Are we actually going to accomplish something? Hmm. These questions. Alright, let's give it a try. One more time. Everything's gonna be about Studio Town. I really, I desperately need Melissa to get somewhere. Like, at least one star. We're halfway there. But halfway isn't, once again, not good enough. So, we need to get it, get it together. No, sorry. Yeah. Alright. Returning. Returning. Okay. So, let's hope people will be here to listen to us. Um, Furby, Sydney, we got Lana, which is the chick that, oh, hey, what's up, Lana? How you doing? <laughs> Sorry about calling you those names earlier, but not technically. I insulted your name a little bit. Oh, who's this? She's new. Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera? What? Christina Aguilera's in this game? Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Let's sing a dance mix. Does she not want to? I'm too depressed to sing right now. Fine, let's go talk to people. Hi there. Hi there. Wait. Can I have an autograph? It's like, no, you're not allowed to have an autograph. Get out of here. We'll just keep bugging you. We'll just keep bugging you. Ooh. Publicity stunts. Ooh, let's do that. Does he not care? I don't think he cares. Let's talk to Tyler then. Let's shake his hand. Um. Yeah. How are you? How are you doing? Insult. Shake fist. Poke. Why does no one like Melissa? Oh. I just want to like throw Melissa out the window right now. She's just... It's so complicated to do things with her at this moment. So I decided to go back home because Melissa was so miserable. I thought we'd 
calm, you know, get this stuff back up again, you know, get her priorities straight. And when she's uh, cooking something, of course this happens. And he'll just be here, you know, like, oh, this is normal. This is normal, guys. This is life. It's normal. We're going to go take out this vermin here. Um, yeah, see, that's taken care of. We don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about it. The firefighters are probably like, oh my god, this house. I'm not surprised about this house. 